Scribus is the um, open source desktop uh, publishing program that's available off the internet. Um, and just a word of warning, um, if you are going to download and install Scribus, you'll need to make sure that you download GhostScript first and install that first. Um, although it, it, um, it won't stop Scribus uh, from running, um, there are some sort of postscript um, post-production issues if you don't. So install GhostScript first, but if you go to the Scribus website, it, ch it, it talks all about all of that for you. So once you've installed GhostScript and then installed uh, Scribus second, and then uh, load it up, um, you get a page that looks just like this. Um, so you can just launch straight into it. Uh, as, as you know, a desktop publishing program enables you to, enables you to put um, elements um, on the page as you wish to, and order them and layer them, uh, etc. In this first tutorial, I'm going to just take you through the basic elements, how to set up Scribus, how to customize it to get it the way you want it to be. So here we are on, on this first page, and you can, as you can see from the right hand side of this splash screen here, you've got, you've got some page setup options or document options for you. You can open up an existing document. Um, but because we're going to be setting um, things up first of all, you just need to click OK. Um, and the page loads up, and as you can see here, you've got uh, a, an A4 document set up with um, some purple. Um, margin lines set up for you and the uh, by default the uh, uh, documentation the, the, the rulers here uh, are set up in points and if you want to work in points that's fine but to get Scribus working the way you want it the way that you're used to working etc etc you need to come to file and then click on preferences so if we just zoom into preferences here you'll see preferences and we'll click on preferences and it's in here that you can set all your preferences for Scribus so that you get your environment working the way you want to. So we just run all the way through this and it pays um, the first time you load it up to actually spend some time doing this. So it's all this stuff in, in, in stuff through here, just the general look and feel, it's up to you. Documents, what you're going to work with. So it's here that you set your default paper size um, and you know default orientation, whether you want the units um, in points, let's set ours to millimeters, I like prefer, prefer working in millimeters um, you could even set it down to centimeters if you want to but I like, I like working in mils um, come down here you can look at your you know the first document size etc 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 click on auto save if you want if you're working on a big document down the bottom here um, set your action history length etc etc spend some time working through this guides and we're going through this um, working our way down through here um, you can sort your way through all of this typography and all those bits and pieces but in tools is where the action starts to happen and what do we notice first of all the very beginning the the uh, the bogeyman of uh, of all fonts as far as I'm concerned Times New Roman regular the most dullest font on the planet uh, so what you can do in here is to choose uh, your own font so for simplicity's sake I'm going to choose to Homer um, to Homer regular there we go to Homer regular uh, let's set it at 14 point text color I like gray so you just scroll down um, let's find a gray here we go let's choose gray 29 um, that looks quite good quite like that previews down here um, but come down here, what are we going to do down through here? Um, when you insert a picture, you're going to have free scaling. Yeah, could do. It's simpler to ha possibly have um, scale image to frame size. Keep aspect ratio, that all looks good. Um, come down here, line colors, um, shapes, etc. Lines, arrows. Yeah, you can have default arrows if you want to to start with. And it's all just work through this basically. So we've done tools. So spend some time through here. Hyphenator. I'm not sure what that does, so I'm just ignoring it. Here's my list of, of fonts that I want to work through. Yep, they're all good. Postscript fonts, font substitutions. I haven't cr created any yet, but that might be something you want to do for a web-based document. Um, Preflight verifier, color management. If you want to switch that on, if you're doing proper uh, desktop publishing, where you want to get your um, uh, printer colors the colors printing out properly for um, you know post production but you know in a school based environment don't worry about it uh, pdfs yep document attributes table of contents keyboard shortcuts important 
for you to learn and look through if you want to. Display, yeah, ah, here we go. Display size, I like to work in millimeters, so I'm going to change this down here. Um, page display color, you can change that if you want to. So make it blue, okay. Add to custom colors, click OK. Um, I don't really want that, so, but you could get the idea. Click OK. Add to custom colors, click OK. OK. Um, come down here, display where we're going down to external tools. You can see here, you can see um, what we've got going on here. That's GS Win, which is Ghost Script. I've got it installed, which is something that uh, Scribus wants to look for. So I've installed mine already, um, and you want to make sure that you get the gswin32c.exe if you're working on a Windows platform. Very important, apparently. Um, so miscellaneous, yes, looking all good down here. And basically, you can just work your way through all of this as you want to, and then click OK. And if I close Scribus now, and I reboot it, hopefully my default settings will be the way I want them to be. Let it load up. And we're going to make a single page and click OK. There we are. And now you can see I've now got uh, millimeters, maybe points would be more accurate because it's um, something you want and my margins have all been set up and we're good to go. So. Um, very quickly, I think what I'm going to do is just um, run through the basic tools in the toolbar here. Um, obviously, this icon here is the um, add a text box button. So if you click on this and you create a text box, you can then add some text just by typing in here. So this is a title, and then you can highlight this text. edit it. Now obviously there doesn't, there doesn't appear to be a formatting menu as you'd expect to see in perhaps a Windows based program but you can click on the item and you can edit it um, where is it? Style, font here. It's home regular, it's good. Size, let's make it 60 points so we can see. So style the item here. Um, effects, we can put a shadow on it if we want to. Um, style, font, colour, grey. Let's make it we want to make this I don't know, olive green, and so there we've got the start starting of our of our desktop publishing title. And as an introduction to Scribus, I think we can stop there. Um, and in the next tutorial, we'll run through what the individual tools do and how you can um, use them. We use TextFlow um, from one box to another, but um, this tutorial has really just got us organised um, uh, organised our work environment.